Flake here with your national briefing. Making news today, international border changes, working Canberra to water down vaccine mandates, shut down in Parliament, and Queensland refuses to budge on expensive tests for travellers keen to cross state lines. But first, welcome news for students, skilled migrants and refugees wanting to enter Australia. Some 200,000 visa holders are expected down under starting next month as part of international border changes. From the 1st of December 2021, fully vaccinated, eligible visa holders will be able to come to Australia without needing to apply for a travel exemption. PM Scott Morrison there. It's hoped it'll fill a labour shortage and boost universities who've struggled with international borders closed during the pandemic. Remaining in Canberra and that bill in the Senate calling for rules around vaccine mandates to be relaxed has been voted down this morning. However, five coalition MPs did cross the floor. In a bizarre twist, One Nation leader Pauline Hanson, who introduced the bill, was unable to even vote on it as she's in Queensland and appearing in Parliament remotely. The Home Affairs Ministers this morning announced a joint agency being dubbed Australia's FBI. New South Wales Police, the AFP and the Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission have come together to form Operation Fob Better, named after the Greek god of nightmares. Karen Andrews says they'll target organised crime. We'll be doing everything that they can to make sure that they are a nightmare to serious and organised criminals. So this operation is absolutely targeted on bikies, on cartels and quite frankly hitting them where it's going to hurt them, which is going to be taking their assets. The search for William Tyrrell's entered its second week. Police are starting to sift through 15 tonnes of soil that has been removed from sites on the New South Wales mid north coast where the then three-year-old went missing in Kendall. Wet weather has made search efforts over the weekend more difficult, but officers are hopeful they'll find more potential evidence soon. It's been seven years since William vanished without a trace. The Queensland Premier's confirmed there's no plans to change their stance on PCR testing for those keen to enter the state. Those travelling from hotspots will need one before crossing state lines, even once Queensland hits an 80% double-dose vaccination mark, with a test costing around 150 bucks. Anastasia Palaszczuk says the move's about keeping people safe. If you have a look through um, the other jurisdictions, you'll find that it's uh, pretty much the same, where people are coming from hotspots into, I think it's Tasmania, Western Australia uh, and South Australia. Meantime, there's been two new COVID cases in the Northern Territory overnight, while the Catherine lockdown's been extended until Wednesday. Michael Hill Black Friday sale. 50% off selected silver, 25% off selected gems and 15% off selected diamonds and gold. Shop now at Michael Hill. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. The rest of Monday for the Limestone Coast, partly cloudy conditions, winds easterly reaching a top of 23 degrees, down to 12 tonight. On Tuesday, a shower or two and a top of 26. And for radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app. <laughs>